Now, you know, everybody talks about how great Tom Brady is. And mind you, I mean, he's a, he's a bad man, Majemma. But and Eli always gets compared to his brother because because of the sibling rivalry. But you were in the huddle with Eli Manning for quite some time. How good is Eli Manning? Because, you know, he's so mild mannered, you know. He's man. He don't really say too much to the media. He's kind of that low. You know, he's very melancholy in certain situations. Who is Eli Manning? How good is he as a quarterback? What is something that we don't know about Eli Manning? Hey, man, listen. Here we go. Easy E, my guy, man. I wouldn't trade him for the world. Um, Eli was a, uh, he wasn't a boisterous uh like outward, like boisterous like that. You know, if he had to get loud or do something out there, he can do it, obviously. But um, he was a more, you know, he was a, a guy who led from, uh, you know, from a different position. You know, we looked at him as a leader because he was our quarterback. Mm-hmm. I'm saying he's our quarterback. That's the leader of our team. His demeanor and characteristics he had didn't denote him as that to us, we looked at him solely. He, man, he's an ER quarterback. They just get his, they grab, they, they draft his man number one overall. He could, he, you know, but like he can play. It, it, he left room for others to be that boisterous, you know, loud guy like myself, you know, people like that. I had a chance to be, you know, the, the emotional leader of the team and, uh, and playing, you know, in the offense, you know, playing with Eli, you know, he, he just took care of his business. He took care of his business on the field. Um, he took care, you know, in the film room, learning what he had to do, figuring it out, putting countless hours in morning, noon, and night to figure the game out, man. And uh, kind of, he came into his own, I would say, that my, which was my third year in the leagues when he really showed that Super Bowl season is when he really showed that, you know, fighting, you know, the adversity and, and, and coming through things. And, you know, our whole team had just had a whole new refreshed or and that and, and came that with, with him. He opened up more. He, he opened up more, led voices a, a little bit more, encouraged his teammates, doing stuff like that. And man, we went to bat, man. We went to fighting for him. Like he had the ability, he had a strong arm. He had a strong arm. He had the mind to convert routes into certain coverages, put us in, in certain runs by looking at it. Okay, we got a three technique. We can't run uh inside zone here. You know, we got to go to the other side and run into the shed, like stuff like that. Will put us in position, you know, put, you know, predicated on with the defense. And the coverage just give you, you know, changing routes, you know, on his helmet because he see a certain coverage twisting and rolling. Man, I mean, the, the dude had everything he needed. You know, was he a big old physical muscular? You know, uh, pull it in, run, run the read option and running. Nah, he wasn't that guy. You know, it took him four or five days to get 10 yards. You know? <laughs> but he, it, you know, like that wasn't him. But, man, Eli is a, a guy who can, who can orchestrate his defense. I mean, he can orchestrate his offense and pick his defense apart. You had an offensive coordinator on the sideline, Kevin Gilbride, who at that point he was just getting comfortable with because he gave Kevin the offensive coordinator job the year before, you know. And then things started being, you know, things got good with Coach Gilbride because he was an outgoing, cool coach, talked to everybody. So we trusted him. And Eli opened up a little more about communicating with him on a daily basis. And he opened up, you know, he just gave the media the side out like that. You know, but I think with Kevin Gilbride, man, he was the, uh, one of the big reasons. He asked me for a lot of Eli's success and, and, and you know, his personality opening up like that. And uh, him and Coach Sullivan, who was our quarterback's coach at the time. So basically you guys got a chance to, to meet the real Eli, even though he was not so boisterous to everybody else, he showed a different side. But he, you can definitely say he was a leader. I mean, you don't win two Super Bowls in this league by, by coincidence. It doesn't happen that way. 